Imagine a prosthetic limb controlled by the amputee's thoughts. A team of engineers and scientists in Chicago is making that a reality. They've developed a bionic leg that can walk upstairs by receiving messages from the brain. The innovation isn't ready for widespread distribution, but as Brian Moore reports, it gives new hope to thousands of amputees. Zach Water is walking into uncharted territory, testing what's believed to be the world's first bionic leg controlled by brainwaves. I seamlessly walk up to a set of stairs and just go up foot over foot up the stairs like you do. Whereas with my normal prosthetic, I kind of have to drag it behind me as I go up the stairs. The Seattle area software engineer lost most of his right leg in a motorcycle accident back in 2009. Doctors rewired two nerves in his leg to send impulses that can be picked up by these sensors. It's a tiny computer on the leg, and it listens to the electricity that Zach's muscles generate when he walks, and it listens to sensors that are in the leg, and it figures all of this out at a near instantaneous speed. So when he thinks about straightening or bending his knee, this computer um, can detect that and tell the knee to bend or to straighten. We have the capability to make the world's first bionic man. 40 years ago, the idea of a bionic man was science fiction Steve fantasy. Austin. It cost $6 million to rebuild TV superhero Steve Austin. The Research Institute of Chicago is funded by an $8 million grant from the U.S. Army. The goal is to help soldiers who lost limbs during the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. But it provides hope for millions around the world who, like Zach, refused to be defined by what they lost. So I'll move my leg out, push the toes down. He's given back so much. He's taken a, a less than ideal situation and made the most of it. And he's helping potentially millions of people. Every step he takes, a giant leap for people who dream to one day follow Zach Vauder. Brian Moore, Global News, Washington.